Hyderabad is emerging as India's growing hub for artificial intelligence, AI, and robotics, rivaling Bangalore's tech dominance. In Boston discussions, Anne LaFrance spotlighted Hyderabad's hosting of giants like Amazon and Google. Dr. Matthias Scheutz from Tufts University emphasized India's vast potential in robotics, particularly in sectors like automotive and defense. Hyderabad's rise underscores its central role in India's tech evolution. At Apple Event 2023, Apple introduced its iPhone 15 lineup, starting at 79,900 rupees. The series, which includes variants like the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, will open for pre-orders in India at 5.30 p.m., September 15. The base model with 128 GB is priced at 80,000 Indian rupees, while higher storage options reach up to 109,900 Indian rupees. Additionally, the new Apple Watch Series 9 will be available for pre-order from 13 September. Following a quiet period in the startup IPO sector, Indian startups Yatra and Zagal are reigniting interest with their forthcoming IPOs. Zagal, a B2B fintech venture from Mumbai, will open its share issue on September 14, priced between 156 Indian rupees and 164 Indian rupees per share, concluding on September 18. The IPO includes a new 392 crore Indian rupees share issue and an offer for the sale of 10.5 million shares. Zagal aims to be listed on both the NSE and BSE. Meanwhile, travel tech firm Yatra's IPO will consist of a fresh 602 crore rupees share issue and an offer for sale of 12.2 million shares. In a developing standoff, Indian startups are vehemently opposing telecom suggestions to have over that top OTT platforms bear their network expenses. Leading the discourse, Zerodha CEO, Nitin Kamath, highlighted the crucial role of net neutrality in the explosive growth of startups on Platform X, previously known as Twitter. His sentiments strongly resonate with a broader consensus among startups. This comes after telecom operators recently appealed to the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, TRAI, to equalize regulatory obligations between them and OTT services, raising concerns about the future landscape of the startup ecosystem. To stay informed about the startup ecosystem, subscribe to My Startup TV.